What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now we're sitting at thirty-eight thousand eight hundred seventeen dollars. We're up about one percent. What I want to do today was a little bit different, guys. As opposed to just projecting where Bitcoin may potentially go, I wanted to teach you something today. As the market's been a little bit slower and moving sideways, I think this could help make you a good amount of money. But for the most part, it's going to help save you a ton of money. And I wish I would have learned this a little bit earlier in my trading career. I've done this for about four or five years now, and I think this is a telltale sign of when you never want to go short or when you never want to go long and this should help just kind of filter some things out for you so if you get some from this don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell we'll make it as quick as possible for you and let's dig into this so guys when we're looking at bitcoin here this is going to track whether you're trading on the one hour time frame the four hour time frame the one week the one day whatever you'd like to trade on okay most important thing is stick to the time frame that your entries are on. That's what you want to exit on as well. You don't want to be bouncing around in tons of different time frames and you know entering on the five minute, then you're exiting on the one week. You want it to stay consistent. That's a big deal for us. But whenever you're doing this, always put on your 50 moving average. I also love the 200 moving average, but this 50 moving average, this is a big deal for us here. And what we're going to do is measure some things out here. So right now, Bitcoin, we're trading in almost this little like symmetrical triangle type deal but we're still trading below this 50 moving average on the one day time frame. Right now we're on the one day time frame. So for me, whenever I want to go long in something, I need to be up above that 50 moving average. I use the one hour time frame a lot. So that's what I feel most comfortable with when I'm trading things. So if I'm trading on the one hour time frame, for me to take a long, I have to see price action trading up above this 50 moving average. And what you want to see is when we cross it, so you can see on the one day here, when we crossed up above this 50 moving average, it came on above average volume. So that's going to be important. If you break up above the 50 here and it's on low volume, most likely you're just going to roll over and you're not going to hold it. But you can see this candle here. When we broke up above, so say you just entered on that heavy volume daily candle close right there up above the 50, and we sell out as soon as we see us cross below it that would have been a 20 percent move for us right here just going off the 50 moving average so let's do this again now so if we take a look at this one we had slightly above average volume but it was still up above this moving average so we could have taken it with a tighter stop loss so say we enter there we exit right here when we start to break down see this candle on heavier volume breaking down through the 50 moving average that's another 17 percent and that's what you're trying to do, guys. You don't want to nail the tops or the bottoms. It's most likely not going to happen. You want to take the meat out of this move and this 50 moving average. This is going to be a big deal for us. So look over here, guys, when we drop down on heavier volume. So we'll measure from the drop down point when the candle closed all the way down. That's 40% to the downside. You could have saved yourself there just getting out on the daily 50 moving average once you drop below it. So let's test this a little bit more here. So once we drop below it here, so you can see this, guys. We have traded below it. For the most part, we ended up going as low as about 42%. Now, sometimes you can get these moves where you get back up above it, but that's where the volume is going to help you out. So this volume here, if we take a look, we got up above it. It was not above average volume. We are not up above that moving average, and that was a telltale sign that we may roll back over to the downside. Here, we broke up above it, and this one did have heavier volume. So sometimes you will have fake outs, and I want you to be aware of that, and that's why stop losses are going to be so important. But what you can see on this one is we had a really nice candle. We got up above it on heavier volume, and then we just rolled right back over once we hit this upper resistance here at about $45,000. And that's going to be the main resistance we have to get up above is $45,000. But what I'm telling you here is I wouldn't want to take a long trade in this market right now when we've been in this downtrend until we start trading up above this 50 and some people will want to even see us up above this 200 moving average so if we put this on as well so this can be our 200 moving average you can see this whole confluence of resistance that we have up here so if we're able to break up through that back test it hold his support then most likely we'd go up and challenge some of these higher levels at 50,000 60,000 but right now we still have to be cautious because we're trading below these moving averages this when people are shorting they're looking at this and they want to play it you know whenever we hit that they open up their short and then they try to ride it to the downside so whenever you're factoring in this 50 moving average when you're taking longs you want to be up above it and you want to see that good volume as we're breaking up above it. and that's just going to help kind of filter things out for you so you kind of know when to take a trade when to not take a trade now just to give you an example here if we go into the one hour time frame which i like to play a lot so look right here guys look how significant this is 
So we ended up losing it on this candle here at about 42,487. And we've been pushed to the downside this entire time since then, all the way down to $37,000. So if you enter here on this big volume, crossing above the 50, take a look at the move that you could have captured. You could have captured this entire move right here. So right now, what we did, we had a close up above this 50 here, but it wasn't on the best volume. And now you're seeing a bunch of wicks right up in this area. So we potentially could see some rejection there. We have some sell pressure coming in. If we do have that, I would look to see if we could hold about 38,000, then it would be down to around that 37.5 is what I'd like to see hold for us right now. But this is just something that can kind of help you know maybe when to jump into a trade or when not to take a trade. You don't want to take a trade if we're going long, if we're trading below this 50 moving average. So this is just something simple for you. Yes, you can play RSI oversold bounce and stuff. That's for people who've done this for a long time, but just a simple strategy that may help people. I wanted to put this out for you. So just be careful in this area, guys. We still got a lot of work to do. Overall markets not looking the best, have everything going on in the macro sense. So just be careful out there, guys. If you get something from this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Take care.